see it. Happy Memorial Day. Love you guys. What did we go see today that was so special? The flags and dead um people. And the crosses, huh? Okay, love you. Cooper's stepping out for this one. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Hey guys, we are sitting in my closet and I was laying in bed last night and I keep running out of hang. I was laying in bed last night and then I jumped to I keep running out of hangers. Do you guys do that? You start thinking and then talking and then nothing matches and you're like, and people look at you like, what are you trying to communicate to me? Here's the thought process of Carly. I was laying in bed last night and my bed face is like right into my closet like this. And I was looking at all my clothes and I was like, I don't wear all of those clothing. But I, are you guys like this? Like I bought something and I got a really good deal on it or I wore something and like people thought it was cute. But I've hung on to it for years. And I know the rule is if you haven't worn it in like the last year or season, then you should probably ditch it. So I was like, I just need somebody to help me know like what I should get rid of and what I should keep. So I'm going to be doing this once a week and you guys are going to be helping me, um find a shirt that I should get rid of. And I want to do something kind of fun. I want to do a giveaway. So if you guys tweet me a, um, how should we do this? I'm going to be going through 10 shirts. We're going to be getting rid of one. The one that I choose to get rid of, we'll do another video and then maybe I'll pick a winner from that video. Okay. So, I mean, but I really, I take good care of my clothing. You guys are probably like, why would I want to wear her shirt? That's disgusting. But I wash my clothing really well. I hate stinky people, so nothing in my house is stinky. And um, it might be fun. We can maybe start a shirt exchange. It's not like we're exchanging underwear. They're just shirts. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be going through 10 shirts. And please help me because I need to get rid of, maybe I'll get rid of all of them, but maybe we should pick one that I should give away. I don't know. Leave your guys' ideas below. Okay, so here is shirt one. It's kind of sheer, and it ruffles, and then it tapers in at the waist, and yeah, it's cute. So this is shirt one, but I really haven't worn it in a long time. It's kind of a weird design, like fa like flower, fire is what I was trying to say, and that went together in one. So shirt one, sheer, black, red, tapers, keep it or ditch it, okay, shirt one. Um... Shirt two. This one is, I'm always, I'm attracted to black clothing. I love black clothing. This one is lace, okay, and it has lace sleeves. And um, really, I mean, it's pretty. I just haven't worn it. It has buttons down the front, and then it has these strings you can tie, tie it in the back. So I feel like it could be like a maternity shirt, or you could make it not. I mean, but it's cute, right? Black lace. Um, the neck is neckline's really really pretty. So there's shirt two. Um, this shirt I got at H and M. I literally never worn it. I took off the tags. It's like a crop top. So you girls with cute little bellies, or guys, if you want to wear this crop top, and the color is kind of like a salmon color. I don't know, but I've literally never worn it. This is shirt three. Okay, it kind of just hangs. And I think it shows like this much of your belly from here to your pant line. So there's shirt three. Then we have shirt four. Okay, so this, it looks a little bit lower than it is, but it's not as low. I think it's just the way it's writing on the hanger. And then the back has a peekaboo, which is really cute. But the design is like red and blue roses, and it kind of, it's longer, and it kind of goes down out at the bottom. So, and the sleeves are capped. I mean, and it's not too low. It's like a modest cleavage line, but um, that is shirt four. There's a material on that one with the peekaboo. Hi, guys. You know what that reminds me of? Goonies, when he sticks his tongue through the painting. Favorite part. Okay, this one is like, don't make fun. I don't know what I was thinking when I was wearing it. It was like when ponchos were cool. But this is like a poncho shirt, okay? And the sleeve is like connected to here. But I don't know, are these still cool? Do people still wear these? I think I'd wear it like maybe camping or like on a rainy day. And it has a hood. And I've literally worn this like once. Maybe it'd be a good airport shirt with like flip flops or something. Now that I start looking at them and explaining them to you guys, I'm like, oh, maybe I'd wear it. Maybe I should keep it. That was shirt five. This definitely has to go. I have so many shirts like this. It's just white v-neck. It has this ribbing right here. Not ribbing, but texture. The sleeves are a little um, kind of flowy, but they have the um, elastic. And then the bottom has this around it. I feel like maybe I should give this to Mommy Tar. That could be a cute pregnancy shirt. That is shirt six. 
again with the black I love it this is shirt seven it's kind of mesh and this is really flattering because this part goes in really like is very fitting on your waist and then it goes up it gets it goes baggier and the sleeves are really big it gives you a lot of leg or gives you a lot of leg room in your sleeves if you didn't know it gives you a lot of arm room in your sleeves so um I feel like uh it's really flattering it just makes your waist it like pulls your waist in like this and so I feel like those kind of shirts are always flattering on the waist if you're feeling not so not so tucked in that day so that is shirt seven this one I literally have never worn with an outfit I don't think I, I don't even know why it's like a half jacket but it has this like crochet on it I think I was drawn to the you know the detail on that and then this button and it's kind of like a weird green color and it has a hood but it's three-quarter length and it's three-quarter length here I feel like half sleeves and half here never look good it's either needs to be long all the way here or long all the way here so I don't know keep this one what or what would I wear it with you know and then this is nine is zebra cool anymore this is Volcom I spent $50 for this sweater and look how cute it has this cute little bow on the sleeve I think I've worn this on the mom's view once but I don't feel like I don't know if it's you know if people still wear zebras or and not that I really care because it's you know style is what you make it but if you guys want this one this one is nine Welcome. Shay would love it. And then the last one, I've never, swear on my life, have never, ever, ever worn this. This is, I don't know why I got it. I think I liked the design of it. It's like, I'm like, I think I'll wear it to the gym maybe once. It's a big half sweater and it's ha a crop top, okay? And it has this, these cool little studs across the front. And then the back has, you know, it's a peekaboo back with this. So I thought maybe with like a purple sports bra or like a purple tank top underneath it. That'd be cute to wear to the gym. Or maybe with some ripped shorts now for summer and some boots. I don't know. So that's shirt 10. You guys are going to have to let me know. I have so many clothes. Literally look behind me. Those are, I mean, shirts. And then those are all tank tops and t-shirts. And those are all dresses and belts and shoes and all that. So I need to go through and donate. I already donated three huge bags um, to my mom's middle school. And I'm like, oh, some cute girls in middle school can wear these and shoes. So I feel like I've gone through a lot already and I'm still like, I have so much more to get rid of. Um, but I love clothing and I feel like I'm a pack rat when it comes to clothes. So let me know, shirts one through 10. Um, today's quote isn't really a quote. It's also something I've learned lately that I wanted to share with you guys. Sometimes in moments where you feel like the most chaotic or you feel like you have so much going through your head, or that you have a lot happening in life. You know, some of you seniors who are graduating, you know, you're trying to look for colleges, you're trying to move out of your home, maybe you're quitting a job, trying to find a new one, whether you're graduating college or applying for college, um, thinking about getting married, if you've gone through a breakup, you know, you're, or you're having financial is issues, whatever it may be, we all, if you think about it, kind of have a lot on our plate. And I think sometimes all the pressure from the outside world with all these things, we start making this never-ending checklist in our head and we hear all these voices of things we should be doing or getting done or, you know, and we, we kind of make decisions out of, sometimes out of emotions or just because we feel like the pressure. But something I've really helped me that's been kind of a blessing is really just taking the time and kind of being selfish with your time, but t taking the time and being still and being quiet and just listening. And as weird as that might seem, I'm not some hippie and I'm not super into uh, meditation, but I think sometimes we deserve to give ourselves a break and to kind of just quiet down the never ending flow of thoughts in our heads, you know, and just really start to listen and listen to your own intuition, listen to your heart and kind of separate your emotions from your thoughts and kind of make, you know, a list of how you're feeling, why you're feeling that way and your thoughts and then just take the time to sit and listen and see if you can find an answer that makes more sense. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always one to react really quickly off emotion and if I'm mad, I react very angry and mad. Sometimes I say words that I don't mean and I hate, I really, really hate that about me. I hate name calling. I feel like it always loses respect and I need to get better at that. And so I'm a type of person, if I'm fighting, 
I don't shut down because I don't think that's healthy, but I just need time to like kind of close down and just really listen and stop and think so that I can really know what my heart and my brain and everything is trying to say without just going off of like, I'm so mad at you, you stupid unicorn killer or whatever, you know, just calling bad names. So I encourage all of you guys, if you are going through a hard time, just to take time for yourself, five minutes, seven minutes, and just literally sit there and be quiet. Maybe some of you do better with prayer. Maybe some of you do better with meditation. Some of you do better with writing things down, going for a walk, whatever it is. Give yourself seven minutes tomorrow to sit and to be quiet and just to think of how you're feeling and decide for yourself if you want to keep it or if you want to ditch it. And that's kind of like the closet idea. If there's there's things hanging in your head you need to get out, get rid of them because it's just going to weigh you down. It's going to keep you feeling like you know, there's things you're holding on to. This kind of goes with last night's, you know, quote of the day. So anyways, let me know if what shirts to get rid of one through 10. If one of you guys want them, think of, help me think of an idea for a giveaway. It'd be fun to send you guys shirts and maybe we could start a shirt exchange, but not an underwear exchange. Okay. Love you. Bye. Oh, random dancing. You want to come in for this? Random dancing, random dancing. Cooper won't do random dancing with me because he's laying on Molly's dog bed and he's not doing any dancing with me and he's trying not to smile but I know he thinks I'm funny I'm funny I'm funny I'm funny